Hi, and thanks for stopping by. I'm Larry Weinstein, and I'm both a CPA and the founder of SolveMyTaxProblems.com, based here in Houston, Texas. And today I wanted to answer the question, what is a letter 1058? When you receive a letter 1058, that's a very important piece of correspondence that you receive from the IRS. The letter 1058 is also known in the tax business as the final notice of intent to levy. And what that really means is the IRS has probably sent you a sequence of letters, each a little bit more threatening than the last, but the letter 1058 is usually at least the fifth letter in the sequence, and it is the final notice of intent to levy. This is a very serious letter. That's the letter that lets the IRS know, lets you know that the IRS is getting ready to take some drastic action. If you don't respond to the IRS when you receive that letter 1058, if you don't respond to the IRS within 30 days, then the IRS can at that point either file a lien or file a wage levy or file a tax uh, file a bank levy on you. So this is a very important document. It's important that you respond when you get a letter 1058. And the way that you respond is basically by requesting a CDP hearing, a collection due process hearing, by filing a form 12153, that's 12153. That is an application or for a request for a collection due process hearing. If you file timely within 30 days of the date of the final notice of intent to levy, if you file on a timely basis, then the IRS will grant you a collection due process hearing. And what you're really saying is any alternative is better than levying my bank account, levying my paycheck, or filing a tax lien. And you must come up with some type of solution to the IRS, be it installment agreement, offer and compromise, currently not collectible bankruptcy, what have you. But when you get that final notice of intent to levy, when you receive that letter 1058, that's a very important letter. If you haven't paid attention to the letters from the IRS in the past, it's very important that you pay, in, pay attention to that letter because if you don't respond to that letter, the IRS is going, basically at that point free to do with you what they want in terms of levy actions and lien actions. That's it for today, answering the question, what is an IRS letter 1058? Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you again real soon.